Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing? It is me, Timothy, and tonight going to be doing a review on Burger King's new release of their new crispy chicken Pemmershine. Ah, three new uh, sandwiches just came out. They got the grilled. And this is the crispy. And then they got the spicy one. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm going to give it a shot and let you guys know how this is. One of the new three sandwiches they got at Burger King. Hmm, good. Tasty. Not too bad, people. Burn a new ch chicken sandwich. From a Burger King. Uh, if any of you got a Burger King where you're at, go out there and get yourself the one of the three new uh, chicken uh, Parmesan uh, sandwiches. So, how's everybody's Friday been for them? I well, hope your Friday's been a terrific one for you out there. Now, how's the weather been for you? Well, our weather here in Michigan been on the cloudy side today. Up until around this afternoon where it was spitting rain. Well, it wasn't spitting too bad, just off and on rain. Man, well, yeah, it's just a cloudy one for us. Well, if you could tell behind me, got our uh, window air conditioning in the window. Our landlord came over today while I was gone and put it in.
thought he would have put the screens up, but haven't put the screens in yet. So what you all been up to today? Me, let's say, what have I been up to? Well, let's say, I had to get up this morning and take my son to work. And then I noticed something funny. I didn't know my neighbor lady was home across the street until I looked. I seen her vehicle gone. So, I, me and my son left, and I dropped him off, and then got gas, and then stopped to where I video record trains. Well, before I got, a train was already going through, and I couldn't get in, so, to my parking lot, so I checked my P.O. box to see if I had anything there, but nothing there in my P.O. box. I'm just letting you know, if you're brand new to my channel, I do got me a P.O. box. Uh, you can uh, send me fan mail. I love trying, getting fan mail from my fans. Uh, if you're the one that would lo love sending fan mail, well, I'll be putting that down below. Also, I got Instagram and Twitter. And also, I got a merch store selling merchandise. If uh, you're interested in trying to buy some merchandise, I'll put that down below for you as well. That way, maybe you might want to buy some merch. from me. But yeah, after uh, the post office, I went back to, I went to where I sit and wait for trains and come to find out my neighbor lady showed up and we talked for a bit. She didn't sound good. She kind of horsey. She went on a trip for a while and she was just exhausted from it and wore out. Her throat was kind of horsey as well. Well, we sat there and talked for a bit and watched Amtrak pull in, and then after they left, well, we sat there and waited to see if a anything else we come but nothing and so she left and I stayed for a few and I said ah oh, nothing's gonna come so I left and came home and chilled here and had breakfast Um, a good old breakfast. Had me Cheerios. And some toast with peanut butter. Well, then after that, 
Well, I played around on the computer and everything and just chilled and kind of fell asleep watching a, a video on YouTube. I uh, watched um, Adam the Woo. He, he does a variety of different kind of videos. He uh, travels from one place to the next to the next. And he's down there in Kismi, Florida. And did a little video of a town down there. Then I watched the Carpet Bagger. He's another uh, YouTube video uh, person I watch uh, here on YouTube. And um, he posted a video of being at an alligator farm in uh, Arkansas. And uh, talked about uh, there, there was a baseball stadium right behind the alligator farm. Well, you know Arkansas, they have snow. Well, you know a alligators can't survive in the snow, so they gotta have them inside and stuff. You know, they can't keep them outside all year long in Arkansas because it gets cold there. <laughs> but uh, him, him and this other YouTuber did a tour there and talked about any of you ever heard of the old baseball player, Babe Ruth? Well, I guess there used to be a baseball stadium right behind that alligator farm. And Babe Ruth hit the ball 500 feet long. And that thing landed where the alligators was. And they believe an alligator ate that baseball. <laughs> yeah, but this girl, man, she's got to be brave. There was nobody else around where her. And I guess she's a trainer or something. I don't know, but you always have somebody with you at all times just in case something goes bad because you don't know when those gators are going to snap or just turn on you. I mean, they could have all mauled her and she, nobody would have been there to help her out. Well, except <laughs> Carpetbagger and his friend. But, you know, they, she, she's got to be a brave soul just to step in with the alligators. They know how to train them. You can't train an alligator. You can't even do anything like that. They're not going to listen to you. They're not as smart as a dog or a cat or anything. Well, sometimes a dog could be dumb sometimes. <laughs> I had a dog that was dumb. Yeah, <laughs> really dumb. Let's say, for example, if you dropped a $50 bill <coughs> on the floor, that dog would have grabbed it. And if you tried to go and get it, he'd growl at you going, <laughs> That's how evil this dog was. <laughs> he had to be possessed by something, I tell you. <laughs> well, he was a crazy mutt. <laughs> yeah, I well, kind of fell asleep watching his video, and then I woke up, and I said, oh, I got to get to the bank to get my son some money out. So I went to the bank to get my son some, some money and got me some money, and then after that, I left to go uh, back downtown to see if I could get a video of a train but nothing showed just another Amtrak I said oh bye home bug I left from there went to Aldi's I'm looking for these one special uh, chips called HERS H-E-R-R -R, 
dash s because I seen somebody do a review on the this um certain ice cream tasting stuff chips or popcorn but can't find them anywhere around here they said they sell them here but I didn't I haven't seen them yet I went to all these but they got different kinds <sighs> so I left from there and then stopped at Dollar Tree Family Dollar to get some uh, laundry detergent and then after that came home and chilled until it was time to go get something for dinner and then stopped at Burger King then went to go get my son and now sitting here on this uh, Friday evening and talking to you guys what did you guys have good for dinner let me know in the comment box what did you have good for dinner I'm just curious what you had <sighs> And what have you all been up to? Let me know. What kind of inter interesting things did you all do? Uh, what do you all got planned to do for the rest of this um, what if all um, Friday evening? Meanwhile, let's say I'm going to probably watch part of the Tigers in Oakland game. Or the Athletics and uh, Tiger game. Until uh, 10 o'clock, and then I'll be watching um, a paranormal show. And then after that, then I'll probably go to bed because got to get up in the morning and take my son to work. So uh, that's going to be my the rest of my Friday for me. An enjoyable one. At top of it. Yeah, at top of it. Well, everyone, hope you all enjoyed this video of this review of the Burger King's new crispy chicken Parmesan. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it. If you're new and came along this video, Hit that red subscribe button right there, right there. Click on it and subscribe to my channel and check out my videos I got. I got plenty on here, so feel free to check them out, will ya? Again, everyone, you all take it easy out there and have a fantastic one. And if any of you out there is getting close to going in to Saturday or almost stepping into Saturday or already into Saturday, wherever you're at, well, hey, well, happy Saturday to you. And if you're still in the... Friday and having a great, great Friday. Well, happy Friday. Again, y'all take it easy. Have a good one, everybody. And this vlog is over.